Hello, it's been a while. So today I will be reviewing this fountain pen, this pilot Kakuno fountain pen. Okay, so this is the pilot Kakuno fountain pen. I got it in clear and in extra fine. On jet pens, it's like $12.50. But like this one, I got it for around, like around $20. <laughs> this was filmed like a while ago. I don't think I was that impressed by it. It does bleed, like the ink is very like, like if you use really like normal printer paper or like, like not any like, like fancy paper that's meant for fountain pen, it will bleed a lot and feather. I am testing out if the ink is like waterproof and I'm using like a water-based Crayola marker and now I'm using like an, an Ahuhu alcohol-based marker to see if it's like alcohol proof and it passed like even like even in like the Crayola side it looks kind of dark but it's like the ink is like waterproof and Copic proof when I try using the pen on like the Crescent render paper it does bleed a little bit and like feathers a little bit. But when I use it on like the Kansan like mixed media, like they're heavier weight, it, it's like pretty clean and sharp edges and it doesn't bleed or feather as much. This is like the pen up close. And now I'm drawing. <laughs> I filmed this like so long ago, like months and months ago. And I remember like erasing the sketch like like so many times i don't know why <laughs> so i ended up deciding to use the like canson mixed media paper although it's not i wouldn't recommend it because like if you go over like if you like ink over the same edges or like the same area over and over it will eventually like the paper will, will like bleed a little bit, like the fibers of the paper will get caught in between the fountain pen. So you should probably, I'd probably recommend using like a real, like an actual like, like paper meant for fountain pens, like the Midori sketchbook, which apparently I did have, but I was like, there's, there's no way, there's no way the Midori like sketchbook slash notebook could like handle fountain pens but apparently it is and it worked really well which i'm like pleasantly surprised um originally i like wanted to do like a full color but like i was like eh. and like color with like copic markers but i was like eh. i don't know a lot of things went wrong so i'm just gonna show like my sketching process and like my inking process and like that's it <laughs> that's it i might have like a full like unedited like raw footage where it includes like the colored portion as well but like uh, i don't know not not very proud of it <laughs> to be honest I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. I haven't drawn. I've been so busy with school. I haven't drawn in months and I've been editing this for months because I don't know. I remember the original file was like, like so many hours. <laughs> All so many hours condensed into like what? Seven, seven minutes and 30 seconds, 30 ish seconds. Lately, I've been doing pretty good uh these days i think the only thing i have to worry about is like writing my short story for english and like overall i'm pretty good i think but like the other day i did get like a like in chem class i got like one of those crossword puzzles with like vocabulary terms and like 80% of it, I just straight up did not know. <laughs> I was like, we've never learned this. But it's, it's just a crossword puzzle. Like, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I remember in chem class, one of my classmates at, like told me that I gave off like 
only child vibes or like I'm like I seem like an like an like like the oldest child I'm like I guess I am cuz I'm an only child <laughs> oh that's like the best that's the best part that was the best inking part but like I don't know I it's it's an okay pen I don't hate it it's just it's a bit too like in a fountain pen i probably want it to be a bit on like the thinner like i want it to create like really like hair hair thin lines and this is like like occasionally there were some but it's just i don't know i feel like i was more in love with a bunch of other fountain pens like for this pen i wasn't very like like if i lost this pen would i buy another one no would I re would I recommend it? Eh, it just it feels kind of like mid ish, and but like the thing that like surprised me the most was like the the ink the black ink how was how how the black ink was both waterproof and like alcohol proof, which is like very rare. <laughs> Very rarely does like a very smooth black and like high, high flowing ink is also like waterproof and copic or alcohol proof. Because usually if an ink is like waterproof, it's not alcohol proof. Or if it's alcohol proof, the ink's probably not waterproof. I don't know, maybe like those like pigment based inks are probably the only ones that are like alcohol proof and waterproof. I'm planning to take AP art next year. That and that'll be the only AP I'll take, which is pretty nice. Yep. <laughs> I actually don't. I actually don't have footage of the final inked product. But there's the final footage of the sketched product. <laughs> Alright, bye!